So we're here at the MediaTek booth, and uh, there's a couple of smartwatches right here. So this is the Aster. This is 2502, right? Yeah. And this one is a new. Yeah, this one is the MT2601, which can support in the Android voice. So this is a Android, uh, this is 2601, uh, or the MT6630, and it says right here, Android-based watch. So a company called GoerTech. So um, can you take it off? Yeah. So let's uh, let's see the UI. So right now this is uh, Android KitKat, right? Yeah. With this the UI a little bit optimized for where? Yeah. And this one is just for the uh, demonstration. So uh, basically the uh, the watchmaker they were based on the customer requirement to do the most, uh, customization. Uh, this our chip has the uh, 3G model inside. So this one we can show even you can make a phone call uh, through the switching. Yeah. So you, there is possibility to do a phone call. Yep. Uh, this is a cool app, the uh, dialing app. I can show you. You can make a phone call to my to my phone. This is a nice big display actually. Around LCD with a nice resolution. This is your real phone number? Yep. Cool, so people can call you watching this video. Yep. So, who, so who are you? <laughs> I'm Tony Chang from MediaTek. I'm the product marketing of the wearable. Be you? So you work on all kinds of wearables. It's like some head mount, some uh, smartwatch, some shoes. Shoes, yeah. All this is wearable? Yeah. Those are based on MediaTek wearable devices. Uh, we have the Aster MT2502 and also MT2601. The difference will be uh, 2502 using MediaTek Linked OS and 2601 is using Android OS. So it can be uh, running the Android Lollipop, it can be running the Android Wear. So the 2502 is, a, is it an ARM Cortex M3 or M4? M yeah. One of the ARM Cortex M, right? Cortex M. Yeah. And this is a Cortex A7 seven? dual core. Dual core yeah. So we're talking Cortex A7 dual core, so yep. you can run Android. Uh, let's try a little bit more the, the, the UI. Okay. So, so who's, uh, who's making this UI? Can you hold this? Yep. Uh, who's, who's developing this? Uh, Rotate and make the UI. So uh, basically, they were customized for by, for the customer. Yeah. yeah. So we make a nice UI like this. So can we hope for Android uh, 5.0 as is, is possible? Five, five, yeah, yeah. There will be lollipop support. Lollipop, yep. Yeah. In so, the future. In the future. Yeah, How yeah, soon? Yeah. Mm, maybe middle of this year. Middle of this yeah. year? Maybe sooner? Oh no. Mm, no, depends. No? Maybe middle of this <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah. This is a nice, nice display. Uh, I hope the battery life is good. This is a really yeah, cool the battery watch. Life should be uh, two or three days. Nice. How, do you know how soon they will launch this? Maybe they will launch it. Yes, uh, the customer is ODM, so that depends on their ODM. So they need to do the customization. Nice. So a lot of traffic here at the booth. A lot of people checking out all the stuff that you have. And uh, this is Aster. Aster. Is it? This is Aster. Yeah. Aster. Yeah. What is this one? This one is also Aster. It's the uh, group of, it's the uh, what is glass. glass what is this? this is glass? Glass. Design. Yes. Is it real glass? Yeah. It's a graphic design. It's not Does not it yet. work? Yeah. It you works. Can the voice recognition. Can you wear it? Uh, Just try. Don't break okay. it. I hope so. Yeah. So it has a micro display in there? The microphone is right here. The, the display is right here. Micro display right there. Yeah. And uh, this is running on Aster, yeah. not on the 2601. Yeah. It's but 2601, Aster. it fit also inside? Uh, should be Let's try to take it off. Yeah. And uh, so where is the CPU? Uh, it's Maybe in here? Yeah, 2502. Which company is making this one? Uh, this one we work with the uh, display module maker Coffee. So it's a reference design. It's so it's a LCD micro display from Coffee? Yep. 
And uh, what is the resolution? VGA or? It should be QVGA. QVGA? Yep. So, so this is this is ready soon. How soon? This, uh, here, cupping glass. Yeah, cupping glass. 2602, dual core 1 gigahertz, uh, Bluetooth 3.0. Anytime and anywhere. And we're here, so that was the latest transmission. Showing off MediaTek Glass. And uh, MediaTek ready for Android Wear.